Our next story is of three friends who gained even more friends whom they consider now as extended family in their challenging but rewarding journey to the oratorial concert. Let's hear from Charles Garcia, Jacob Ghana, and Irel Firma. The first thing that struck out to me when I heard about the auditions was the fact that it was going to be in Texas. So at first I was kind of hesitant, you know, to fly all the way out there, but thankfully I was given the opportunity to do so. Honestly, going to Texas has really changed my life. The journey was honestly amazing and I couldn't have asked for a better experience. I could agree with that. Um, same thing for me, like, I would never think that I'd be able to get this opportunity to perform with such a group of talented individuals. Everyone's on a different age, different skill level, and it's just crazy to see how we're all together in one big group. And I consider them as like my second family now, and it's been a great experience so far. I will keep sure. When I heard about it, I um, auditioned for it. And at first, I was very scared that they might not accept me. But with God's help, and He's so kind that I was accepted, I'm very blessed. Uh, for me, actually, I've only played for the most part in middle school. The biggest difference is the people that you're playing with. Because for the most part, when you're part of a school orchestra, you know, it's very concentrated. But for me, it really is all about who I've been playing with. And most of all, because the Church of Christ really does mean so much to me knowing that I'm performing with my fellow brethren, united in this noble purpose of something of such a great undertaking. It's, it's, it's a feeling that I honestly can't describe. The difference in playing middle school music would be a mediocre difficulty. <laughs> As you mentioned difficulty, the oratorio, that is some next level stuff. <laughs> Honestly, I, I struggled so much with it. You know, with God's help, I really was able to cut, to rise up to the occasion to play it. It's hard. It sounds really nice. It's still hard to play. But the first day I got my scores, I looked at this and thought, what am I getting into? <laughs> <laughs> I was Honestly. stressed out. And, but all in more, like, I prayed to God and um, I'm able to do it. Like, I'm not a professional either, even though I've had so much experience, like everyone says. <laughs> Being part of the amateur group of the oratorio, we all know that this is all for God nonetheless, and we know that we will do our best to play. For me, it's, it's all never really about the venue that we're playing at, it's the purpose, it's what we're playing, and the reason why we're doing it. This is a very big undertaking, and I'd never think that this would ever happen. Our own church is having our own trip and INC concert. I think it's amazing that we we're able to do such things all because of God, so I'm very excited for this. My very first experience with performing for the Christ was in our Countdown to Centennial celebration there in Southern California. It's not really a matter of, everyone's always so worried like, oh, I don't know if I'm good enough, oh, I don't know if I'll be good enough to, you know, play the music, you know, I don't know if I can make it to rehearsals. I'm not saying to completely disregard those things, but the experiences that you will have, how it will change your life, how it will impact you, is so inconsequential when compared to all of the things that you have to sacrifice. For me, my life really has, I have my faith as well, really has become a lot stronger because of all the times I've been able to perform for the church. You know, I have a love for music, I have a love for the church, and knowing that I've been able to combine two of my biggest loves has been honestly such an amazing experience. So. The biggest thing I can say is if you care about auditions, if you care about, you know, there's a big event and they need performers, do it. If you ever hear about auditions, if you ever see a flyer, go on social media, go sign up, audition, send your video in, and just hope for the best that you get accepted. <laughs> Even if you don't get accepted, try harder next time, and you're never going to regret it because the, the experience is unforgettable. The new friendships you make, the new friends you make, the things you get to do with all these people and the, the event in general is just it's amazing. I would say seize your moment. <clears throat> Never hide what your talent, what talents you have because it can do great to others. It can give joy to the sad ones. My name is Iro Firma. I play the <clears throat> best instrument, <laughs> the viola. A lot of the times in life, more often than not, you will regret the chances that you didn't take. So it's better to regret doing it than not doing it. So seize the moment and whatever happens, happens. So hope for the best. Stealing my wine sounds. <laughs> I will use both. 
Um, I would say that my name is Charles Garcia. <laughs> <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> I played the violin. I would like to use a quote that I saw from the It Men movie. It says, people have different stances in life, but in under one dignity, we are all the same. Okay. We shall continue. Did you forget? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> okay, I'm Jacob Ghana and I play the violin. One of my last thoughts is I'm just really excited for everything. Like, you've come so far, it's been over a year, and it's finally like in a couple of days, so less than two weeks away. And honestly, New York, we're coming for you. You should be part of the experience too, so I should go audition there. <laughs> <laughs>